This is Passengers United. Good afternoon everyone. This is Passengers United. Today is September 1st, Sunday. And guys, take a look at what Nice Bus has done. So I'm at the Jamaica Avenue and 239th Street westbound stop for the Q36. And starting today, look at this small little sign, guys. If I hadn't seen this sign, I probably would not have known. Look at this. And they even have the Nice Bus cut out. So it says, starting September 1st, the N1 will make select stops here, Saturday, Sunday mornings. Mornings, it says. Uh, guys, I don't know what's going on with this company. This company is getting crazier by the minute. And guys, I want to believe in nice bus, but when they do things like this, it's unacceptable, guys. Why didn't they put a bigger N1 sign? It says attention. Attention could mean anything. It doesn't say that the N1 stopping here. The bus drivers need a physical point to show them where the stop is because many bus drivers don't have a memory. So again, guys, we're going to see if the bus shows up. We're going to see what happens. But leave it to nice bus to screw this up, guys. Oh, boy. All right, guys. So I am here at the bus stop at Jamaica 239th Street. And we're going to see the N24 coming now. This is the N24, the N1. Oh, no, this is it, guys. I think this is the bus that is supposed to be ending here. Yep, this is it, guys. Belrose Terrace. Wow, right on time. Okay. So this is the new N24 to Belrose Terrace. So now, many people don't know what's going to happen here. So this is going to be the last stop for the N24 bus. Hi, how are you doing, sir? This is going to be the last bus where everybody gets off here at Belrose Terrace. So they'll all be getting off the bus. So this is the last stop. Last stop, last stop. So you see all the passengers that just got off this bus, guys? So look at the passengers being affected by this. Last stop. You can wait here for the next bus. Flushing. Flushing? Flushing? Yeah. 27, straight away, all the way down. You can wait here or walk it if you want. So as you can see, everyone's getting off the bus. Now look at how many passengers are impacted by this. One, two, three, four. Hold on. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 to 13 passengers are impacted by this. So John Michno is right. This is definitely a Title V complaint, guys. A federal complaint should be filed because it's not fair to all these passengers. They now have to get off. But again, this is what they're doing with the 24. So let me go talk to the driver. make a left on Springfield guys but there's no stops from here so again I'm on the N1 guys um, we're checking this out and so we're going to see what happens here guys So as you can see, this is Jamaica Avenue, and we're about to make a left on Springfield, guys.
there's an N24 headed to Roosevelt Field, but we're gonna make the turn. So this bus became an N24. It was an N24 down to come in, it became an N1. So as you can see, it says UBS Arena. So we're not gonna stop here. So we're gonna turn right up to Springfield, as you can see, and we're going straight up, guys. It would have been nice if they could have made a stop at Elmont UBS. Uh, well, they should make a stop at Queens Village LIRR. That would have made sense. Um, I don't know why they didn't do that, guys. I think that actually would have worked out because people can get off the railroad and then they can come on this bus. So I'm gonna talk to Nice Bus to see if they can put a bus stop over here, have the N1 stop here. Because as you see guys, the Q27 stops over here, but the N1 doesn't. So the N1 just goes up Springfield. And as you can see, I'm the only passenger on here. It's not that many uh, people, but eventually I think there will be demand. So I think Elmont residents want a bus connections. And so, you know, I don't see why they can't have another stop. So the next stop on this bus is UBS Arena. It's actually not um, Springfield and Hampstead, which would have made sense. So we're gonna go to this side. And you're gonna see guys when he makes the turn. Because going to the beach this will be nice. However, the bus doesn't stop here. So I don't know what good it is, guys. The next stop is UPS Arena. So, and hopefully we'll catch the other bus coming the other way if it's not stuck in traffic. So again, this is Passengers United. Um, we'll just ride this to UPS Arena and just see how it is. is very light today guys but then again on a busier day it's gonna be busy guys so we have to keep that in mind um,
now guys, we are now entering Nassau County, UBS Arena. And we are on the other side of where we started out guys. There's the other N1 going to Belrose Terrace, so we missed it. Okay, there it is, guys. Belrose Terrace, N1, 240. So that's the other bus. Oh, interesting. All right, guys, so this is Passengers United. How about you? All right, guys, here comes the N1 bus. So this is the new bus that's going to Belrose Terrace, guys. N1. Let's see if he stops here. We will. Bell Rose Terrace, guys, N1. So, as you can see, nobody's on this bus. I'm standing passenger headed towards Bell Rose Terrace, guys. It's an empty N1. So, now we're back in Queens. So UBS Arena is the last stop. So anyone who wants to go to Jamaica who's on the N1 has to get off at UBS Arena. Because once this bus passes UBS Arena inside Queens, it makes no stops. The last stop is Belrose Terrace, as we'll see. So now we're here. There's the other bus, Millbrook Park. So both the N1s kind of meet up with each other. So they've added more service on the N1, which is good. So they have more service running. And there's the N6 Hempstead. And by the way, the time I was waiting, guys, I did not see one N6. So I think the N6s are having some issues today. They're running a little late, which is to be expected. Um, and I think there might be something going on on Hampstead, guys. Hampstead might be closed for the run. So it's probably why. So we're going to be making a right turn here onto Springfield and you'll see that in a minute guys. There's the Q110 bus, alright. Little Q110. I think maybe they should have had a supplemental N6. That to me would have made more sense, guys. But like I said, you know, it, at least the bus is brand new. It's a nice new bus. And the air conditioning is working, guys. So can't go wrong with nice, at least with that. All right, so we're going to be making the turn here. Now you see how hard it is to make this turn? And this is what I want to explain to the company. The company needs to understand that making a turn over here, you see this truck? Look at how this truck is parked. This is going to be a challenge, making that right turn here, guys. Because when you try to make that turn and you have all these cars over here, that becomes an issue. And see, one car already got banged up over here. I don't know how that is. So this is a very hard turn over here, a tight turn to make. Because you see how the intersection is. Um,
good thing the bus driver doesn't have to worry about a lot of passengers on this side. So that's a good thing. So now he's going to make the turn. And as you'll see, he's making the turn here. Yeah, it's good there. Okay, all good, all good. But it is a very hard turn to make over here. So now the bus goes straight down, guys. So the N1 does not stop here. This would have been a great bus stop for it to stop at. It's Springfield and 90th Avenue. Um, so people can get on the railroad, guys. I think that would have helped a lot of people out, especially on the N1 route who want a cheaper option. So when you get off here, you get to take advantage of city ticket on the weekends and weekdays. So especially on the weekends, I think it really would have worked to have the bus stop here. Um, that could have been like a generator, a population generator for this route. Um, so that's something they're gonna look at. Um, so we're gonna pass the Long Island Railroad Station, but we don't stop here. So now the bus driver is going to make a right over here. Okay, here we go guys. Making a right onto Jamaica. So now we're going to end at 239th Street. And then this bus, I think, becomes the 24th. Yeah, I'm going to tell them to put the signage here, bus stop sign. Oh, there's a sign here, M34. Oh, there is. Of course. But it's bent on the other side. You can't see it. Aha. Uh -huh. So if DOT can come, guys, and if they can put a sign up here, if they could tilt the sign straight so people could see it, that would be better. So it's the Q36 sign over here. So DOT has to put a bus stop sign here. They need to... They have this on the wood, guys, but it's very hard to see. And they gotta they gotta adjust that here at 240th Street. They've gotta make an adjustment on that. Um, so this is where the N1 becomes the N24, guys, at 240th Street. He's taking his layover over here. He gets a few minutes and then he goes back as the 24. So um, again, guys. Uh, this bus stop is not bad to 40th, it's okay. They could put a bus shelter over here. That would help people out, so I think they should put a bus shelter here. But again, guys, this is uh, Passengers United covering this for you. And I'm gonna get the bus leaving as the 24 when he leaves. So guys, this bus is gonna change in a few minutes to the N24, Bellrose Terrace. Because if you're picking up a wheelchair, right? And you put that lift down, you pressurize it. Yeah, that could be an issue. So now he becomes the N24 Roosevelt Field, just like that, guys. And off he goes. So now he becomes the 24. So uh, this is a Passengers United exclusive, guys, Amir. Although this bus stop, I have concerns about it because look at this, guys. Look at that. That could damage the bus, guys. So that is a concern. Thanks for watching. To stay up to date with Passengers United, please subscribe and follow us on social media. Learn more about us at PassengersUnited.org.